The thing that intrigues me about evolution, well, the thing that troubles me about it, if I'm honest, is that firstly, it is, as I understand it, still only a theory. That's why we call it the theory of evolution. There isn't any absolute proof and there is still a lot of gaps in it, but it is beginning to make a great deal of sense. But the trouble is, evolution is potentially extremely boring because it's millions and millions and millions of years just to get your eyeball to move from the side of your head round to somewhere near the front. Whereas creation myths, assuming they are myths, are much more romantic. They're just lovely, the idea that things spring from the earth or from the word of a god or something like that. That's nice, that makes for a better story. And the sort of, the appreciator of poetry in me prefers creationism. But my rather sort of bar humbug mind prefers the precision of the scientific explanation, which is of course evolution. It's very, very thoroughly worked out in as far as we understand it. So I wouldn't completely dismiss creation stories because they're nice and you can think of them anyway as allegories for something else, which you can't really do with evolution. It's not an allegory for something else. It's absolute. It's presented as what happened. The unfortunate thing is it happened over an inconceivably long time. It would make even, you know, the entire back catalogue of EastEnders look like the twinkle of an eye. That's how dull it is. I don't have any wisdom teeth, which would suggest that I am slightly more evolved than my younger brother, because I believe he does. I don't actually think that's evidence of evolution, because he's only two and a half years younger than me, and really not much happens to the human species over two and a half years. Not much happens over two and a half thousand years. Um, we're talking actually about thousands and thousands and thousands of generations to make any perceivable change. And then we're only talking about what's happened to humans as we understand them, i.e. from the sort of Homo sapien or Homo erectus or whatever it was that we've decided we became vaguely human. There's everything that happened before that as well and all those millions of years in which there were dinosaurs and dragons and giant trolls and are you being served and it ain't our fault, mum. I mean, it's just, it's an inconceivably long story and the pace is extremely slow. It makes those Russian novels look like limericks.